welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. It is the end of the year, holiday season is coming, so I thought it fitting to do for this uh, month's tip how to do a year-end letter. So let's let's move into our Razor's Edge sample database and go from there. Okay, so the way most organizations do it, whenever gifts come in, they're typically sent a thank you letter for each gift during the course of the year. But some organizations like to make it convenient for their donors by giving them sort of a summary giving of the previous year. Now, most organizations will run what I'm about to show you early January so they can get a letter out to every donor who gave in the previous calendar year. And that way they get sort of a summary of their giving for tax purposes and they don't have to go find all the various individual thank you letters that they might have gotten through the course of the year. Now the way we start this is by creating a query of anyone who gave a gift for the previous calendar year. Now you'll notice I've opened up, I created a query here, I call it year end letter recipients and my only criteria is one thing, gift date equals last calendar year. That's all it takes and <clears throat> you can run it to make sure all the people are right but you don't really need to. I'm just going to show you that real briefly. Now after you have the query of all the individuals who gave for the previous calendar year, what the next step is, I'm going to show you a nifty little trick, is you can go over to export and from export what we're going to do is create a new export and from here notice this portion where it says what type of export do you want to create, it says constituent, we're going to go down to export format and I'm going to have you scroll to the very top and you'll notice this thing right here where it says black bod <clears throat> simple word merge. You see that? And once you click that, go to this button that says create now. Now once this is popped open, the first thing you're going to do is identify the query that you just built. So under this button where it says include, you'll say selected records and you'll come down and find the query however you named it. In my case I said year end letter recipients. You see it right there. And now after I've identified the query of who's going to get the letter, go to the next tab where it says output. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to actually build just like you're doing a word merge or if you're sending out a letter using the, the mail module. This actually has a feature where you can actually do a word merge right from export. It's a pretty nifty little thing. So imagine all the fields that you'll have in a typical letter. And you'll probably start with the address C and salutation. So I'm just going to move them over. You see up here, it's showing all the output fields. So you have address C, salutation. Then, of course, you'll want to do the address. So I'm going to open up where it says address, and I'm going to open up, and I'm going to take this section where it says address block. By doing that, notice what it does. It fills in all these addresses. Typically, you don't have to use address line 3, 4, and 5, but it doesn't hurt to have additional fields over there in the event that you, for whatever reason, are using that many address lines. Okay? Now, here's where this feature becomes really handy. Go down to the very bottom and see this thing called summary information, right? And if I expand that, you'll see where it says summary for gifts. And as I expand that, you'll see it gives me a couple options here. I can say total number of gifts, total gift amount. And what I'm going to do is grab the total number of gifts first. And now what you do here is you're going to establish the gift filters. Typically, you're sending people a year end letter showing that all the cash donations they've made. Okay, so what we'll do is see include gift with these dates and what you're going to do is go pick from this drop down window the last calendar year you see how that is and then down here for the gift amounts what you want to do is put in something like a penny to start with and then I always do a bunch of nines okay the next section you want to um, sort of restrict the gifts is over here where it says gift types. You see that third tab? When you go there, if you remove all of the fields from the right side where it says include these gift types, you want to move them over and just grab the cash. Now if you're doing stock letters and all that other kind of stuff, that it's a little bit more than this simple letter. But what I'm doing is just showing you the cash version. Okay, so once you've established these as the filters, It'll put in the total gift, um, um, total number of gifts, and now what I'm also going to do is drag over the total gift amount. Now these are just generic. You can get really creative with your letter, but I'm just showing you sort of a quick and generic way to do this. Up on the top now, it, you see this button where it says Edit Merge Document? Go ahead and click that. And from here, it's actually just like building a template in Word. It actually gets pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the fields that I would typically have in a letter. So see this button on the top left where it says Insert Razor's Edge Field. <clears throat> if you click that, you'll see Address C, Salutation. So we'll start with the Address C. Then let's put in the address. So we'll say Address Line 1, and then maybe Address Line 2. 
Uh, then we'll say city. You get the gist of what I'm doing here. You've all, I'm hoping, have built a letter before. Um, give me one second, state, and then I'm going to do zip. And just like you would with the punctuation, you say city, comma, space, zip. Then after the state, you do a space, you know, just like a letter. And now let's move down and write our letter. So we say dear, space, and we're going to put in uh, the salutation, just like a letter. Now, your letter could be very elaborate, pretty. It'll have your taxpayer ID number on it and all the kind of stuff that any nonprofit should be putting on there. Maybe your logo on the top and everything as well. But for this purpose, I'm just going to show you what it would look like. Um, last year you gave, and then I'm going to put in my field, total number of gifts, blank, and then you can do it like this, gift apostrophe S, so gift or gifts, for a total of, summary information, total gift amount. And then you obviously say thank you for your support. Etc. Etc. Sincerely, uh, whoever you are, we'll say donor uh, steward. Okay. Now, once the letter is done, um, <clears throat> up here on the top, you'll see that save and return to RE7 to merge. You click that button, and what will happen now is your system will go through the process of actually generating the template. So from here down on the bottom right, you see where it says merge now. Go ahead and click that. It's going to ask you what do you want to name it, so I'm going to call it my year-end letter, and I'll say save. <clears throat> if you have an existing one there, it'll just replace it, just like any other letter. And voila. So now you have a merge document showing everybody who had the query, who gave gifts uh, to your previous calendar year. And from here, you should be able to print them out and send them off to your donors. I hope that helps. And if you have any other learning or training needs, I hope you'll check us out at RaisesEdgeForRookies.com. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.